What's going on everyone? This is Brandon from Authentic Bubbles. I'm back here to do another video. Um, if you watched our video the other day, you seen the pups are now three weeks old. So we were starting the weaning process and getting them converted over to the mush food. Uh, it's now been a few days. They're all pretty much adjusted and converted over to that. I still let Luca in there to nurse them a few times a day still. Um, but mainly in this video, what we're going to do is I'm going to show y'all how I, I get them out of there. I swap the pads out and clean the, the box out, put them back in, prepare the food so y'all can see how we do that. And then after they get done eating, they make a mess. They get all the food all over them. So then I'll clean them all up and I'll probably show you guys uh, each pup so y'all can get a look at them, see how they're looking now. They're looking like some monsters. I can't wait for you guys to see them. They're looking great. Um, they're packing them pounds on. They're all thriving. So uh, before we get to, uh, into this video, I want to say I appreciate everybody for all the feedback and all the likes. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get into this video. All right, guys. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to get all of them out of here, put them in this incubator for just a few minutes. I don't know about to turn it on anymore. I don't really go in there anymore. It's too big. And I just put them in there so I can get everything out of here, cleaned out, swapped out. <sighs> Pretty soon what I'll start doing, put cedar in here, makes it easier to clean up since they're starting to pass stools on their own. Do more on their own. So especially after they get done eating, they start pooping everywhere. Now I'm gonna start prepping the food. All right, now what I'm gonna do, start prepping the food, get everything together for them. I showed y'all how, what all I put in my mush the other day. So now what I do, put it in this. I got this idea from a friend of mine. Just put it in there where it's already prepared. There's a milk replacer in there mixed with the dog food. It's already soaked. So all I gotta do is add some hot water to it, warm water, and then blend it. Cause right now they're eating at like a, soupy consistency. I thicken it up a little bit more every day. Well, I try to at least. Some days it's better than others, so we'll see how it goes this time. I'll do a
try to let get none of that milk get in there. So that's enough right there. Sometimes I gotta add water to it, but right now I'm trying to thicken it up a little bit more, not make it as soupy. Consistency right there. That's pretty decent. So now what I'm gonna do is add just a little bit of water to it, just a little bit. With it so it's not real, real thick. I mean, they have teeth now. So, Stir it around a little bit. That's good, that's warm. I'm doing two bowls now because this morning I ended up having to make two bowls for them because they was, they was hungry. I came down here at six in the morning to feed them and they was just ready to eat. So, and then I put another bowl in there just to see if, how they would do with it and they ate all of it. So I'm making two bowl pans now. And this lasts me usually, uh, you know, three feedings, having in there. You know what I'm saying? They ready, they ready for me coming in and feeding. They're already in there pooping all over the place. Give me one moment, I'm gonna clean some of that poop up real quick. Let it start stepping all in. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Let's get all this poop up. Y'all are disgusting, man. Like I said, I'm gonna start uh, probably putting cedar in there in the next couple of days. Cause where they poop so much, they get done doing nothing but clean up poop all day long. Uh, it's easier just to have the cedar and then have like a kitty litter scoop and just scoop the poop up, up, up out of there and put it in the trash. And a good tip for trying to keep the smell down, the poop smell down, cause they're gonna poop a lot. Especially when they're, you know, their bellies are getting adjusted to stuff like this. It's a big change for them. They've been drinking nothing but mom's milk for the past two weeks. So, uh, well, yeah, pretty much two weeks, yeah, two, three weeks. So I, I use a diaper genie. Right, well, I had one, but it broke because I just had a, a baby at the time, I had my son. So I had the diaper genie. I was putting all the poop in the diaper genie. Keep that smell down. So if you have one of those, you can put that to use. I'll probably get another one eventually. Sure 
and it's about the consistency you want right there where it's just, it's not really thick, thick, but it's still kind of liquidy. Not thickening it up a little bit every day. All right, so let's go over here and feed them. All right, now what I'm gonna do, take the fucking pad, put this in here, and make a mess, and step all in it. I have to clean this right back out because they cooped all over the place. See, they know, they know their food is coming. Come on. As you can see. Feasting now. As you can pretty much see they're significantly bigger than last time you guys seen them. That's why I use the diamond. Diamond has a lot of calories. This guy yo, he's wandering off. I'll try to redirect them whenever they're not eating. See, I got to do this with him every time. He never, he's always wandering around doing his own thing while everybody else is eating. There he goes. That big boy over there. And uh, I get a lot of questions about Kiki's litter. Kiki ended up having a singleton, and this is a singleton puppy she had. She had one female. Got their bellies full. I guess now they're gonna start to poop it. They're gonna start pooping everywhere. Yeah, uh, put some water in here for them after they finish eating to keep them hydrated. This girl right here, she is a great eater right there. She's one of the smaller females, but she's a great eater. I get questions about availability. This boy right here, for some reason, is still available if you're interested. Only serious inquiries, contact me, you know, because I got a lot of stuff going on. So if you're not very positive that you, you really want to right now, uh, just wait until one of my other leaders and contact me when you are ready. That's a great eater. Here you guys. There's more food right here. There's more food here. That one's done. Y'all come get this. The, the rest of this litter is spoken for. I said it's just him left. And her. And as you can see, he has great structure. Look at the angulation. You can see the angulation already. Angulation is there. You want to look for this right there. That's already there. Yeah, you can see it's 
see Kiki's puppy right here. This is Kiki's puppy. She's a monster. And after they get done eating, I'll clean them up with some warm water and put them back in here and they'll do all their pooping and peeing. And then they'll probably take a nap because they're full. Look, she's already down. She's eight the whole entire time. Like I said, she's one of the smaller females, but all the others are like ridiculously big. She's not tiny or underweight or anything. They're just, the others are just ridiculously big, but she's a eater. She's packed on a few pounds since we converted over to this mush. And what I, another thing I like to do is after they, a couple of, you know, a few times throughout the day, whenever they, usually when they get done eating, I'll bring Luca in here and top them off with some milk, get some nurturing time in with mom. I'll probably bring her in here in a minute, but she's really kind of just over it. But they got teeth now, and it kind of hurts her nipples whenever they suck on with the teeth. She's going to town. Look, she's ate this whole entire time. This is the other female that is still available. She's just hoping for you. female and a red male this guy let's see what you gonna do the clean up man let's get this other ball out of here all right well they're done so now i'm gonna start getting them out of here and cleaning them up and uh letting you guys see them get a closer look at all of them all right what i'm gonna do now is uh wipe them all down get them cleaned up i got my bowl of water right here Already starting to poop. We clean up some of this poop real quick. It's almost instantly after they eat, they start pooping. Like I said, with that cedar, it's easier to clean up. All you do is get your little kitty litter, shovel, little scoop, scoop it up right up out of there. Good to go. Just throw it away. Save you a lot of paper towels and wet wipes. Like I said, this is the other female I have that's not spoken for yet. Great looking female. She's red, a little plump, got her belly full, red belly. I'm really proud of this litter. Bucks and Luca did their thing on this one. They really did. Like I said, this girl hasn't spoken for her yet. She's only three weeks old and look at her. Yeah, it's a puppy. It's one of your puppies. I'm talking to my son. He sees me right here running through. Look at this big boy. One of these black and tans is staying here. I haven't made up her mind. We won't know for another couple weeks which one's gonna stay here. Look at this guy. Big boy. I weighed, uh, weighed them both yesterday. They were both around six pounds. I don't know what they are today. I could weigh them right here in a minute. Let you guys see how I weigh the puppies. Sometimes they cooperate, sometimes they don't. Both of the black and tan are males. They're both spoken for. Oh, this is the other one right here. Both of them are very similar. They're pretty much twins, pretty much. This one has a little bit of white on the chest and the other one doesn't. That's how I tell them apart. 
this one, he kind of, he's like a little thicker, I guess you could say. Need to clip their nails. I might show y'all how to do that also while we, right here. Let's back out the way and do that. Where we clip their nails, use a little kitten clip. See how you just clip the white tips off. Let me get these back legs, boy. Hang on, let me get these back ones. Cooperate with me, you're doing so good. Just give me one second so I can get it knocked out. Get it knocked out, do it fast, boom. Do it fast, I'm gonna do it as fast as I can. I'm gonna do it as fast as I can. Put you right back in there. Hmm, got those two a little too short. There we go. All right, now he's done. Yeah, this is a big boy. Look at that head on that guy. What's up, boy? What's up, boy? Got a little bit of food still left on there. In the mouth. Yeah. Nails clips. See how the nails look? Well, y'all didn't see him. I'll show y'all before and after on this next one. Jersey, one of my subscribers, uh, Roberto. This is your pup right here, my man. Big boy. Clip his nails. But you see how the nails got those little white tips? I'm gonna clip those white tips off. His are extra long. Look at that. Look how long them are. White tips on them. There's extra long. Let me knock them out real quick. Let me knock them out real quick. I know y'all don't like it whenever I get the back ones. Try not to get it too short. That one I did way too short. Hey, keep missing it. There we go. You know, all you gotta do is just get those white tips. Don't wanna take the whole nail off. Let's make it just leave. Here we go, they're done. What's up, big boy? Say what's up. And uh, this black in his back, that hue will fade out. And it'll probably be, he may be a little darker red. He's got a little bit of hue on the chest. That should fade out also. May or may not, usually it does. But where we got some uh, tricolors in here with multiple two tones. It may stick on them, we'll see. But regardless, it's gonna be a nice, nice specimen. Nice. Gonna be a big boy. This is the other male that I was, this is that male I was talking about, not the other, there's a female. It's that male that I was saying it wasn't spoken for yet. Him, I was looking at him like last night. I was like, dang, man, since you got that weight on you, you you're looking real good, man. You got good structure. If you're looking for a dog with a little bit of drive, 
extra drive. This is the one. He sits in there, growls. He's real playful, growls at all the rest. The other one wants to play constantly. He's, you know, can move around real good. But here he is, you get a better look at him. Real good looking boy. He's red as well. On him. His is already kind of fading out a little bit. Well, that light that don't look like it. But right here it does. Say what's up, boy. Say what's up. Yeah, so now we're gonna clip your nails. Drink an energy drink a little bit ago, so I'm real jittery. <laughs> oh, baby boy. Oh, baby boy. Let me get these last four. There we go. All done. Look at that guy. I've already seen her, but I'm gonna go ahead and clip her nails. I'm gonna clip her nails. She can get some extra camera time. So as you can see, this is real, it's not painful for him at all. Ooh, I did that one too short. This is that singleton from uh, that Kiki had right here. Big female. Going to South Carolina, I believe. Yeah, look at that. Farting on me right now. Get these nails. Let's get these nails clipped. Dang, digging them into me, girl. Hers are real long, too. I know. One more, one more, one more right here. She got some poop in hers. See, that's why you want to clip them. Hers are like just different than the rest of them. Hers are like terrible. That one isn't too short.
go right here. Spoken for. Love her markings. She's real nice. If I didn't have the black and tan, this would probably be my keeper. Chest. Real nice. So yeah, that last one, Kiki's puppy, her nails were just different. They were kind of tricky. too short. Some of them are just, you know, hit or miss. You can't get all of them perfect. There we go. But some of them really don't need it, but you just get on a roll and get in the habit of just clipping all of them. And a little bit, of they bleed a little bit whenever you cut them too short. So I say just get the white tips. Some of them don't have white tips, so you can't tell. Like this one doing right now doesn't have a white tip on it. No, I'll just leave it alone. Uh, all right. That's everybody. I'm gonna let y'all have a good look at this glue one more time. That big boy right there. Get that belly on him. All right, now I'm gonna give them that water. Sometimes they pee on it, so it's kind of good for them. Teaches them to pee on those pads. Let her in here. It's good in a little nurturing thing. They don't stay on her too long. She don't really allow them to anymore because they got teeth. Kind of painful for her. Okay, let me get you over here, boy. There's one over there. but the nipple.
바꿨어요. That's all I got for you guys today. Uh, appreciate you guys watching. Um, like I said, I appreciate all the likes, all the subscribes. Yeah. Yeah. All right guys, I guess that's all I got for you guys today. Uh, appreciate everybody watching and tuning in to all these videos. Like I said, I'm gonna keep trying to crank this content out for you guys. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Appreciate it. I'll catch you guys next time.